It's a project years in the making that honors dozens of first responders. Our Andrea Lucia reveals one tribute that unearthed a local officer's hidden personal history. And I, I love every minute of it and every day. For as long as he could remember, Kyle Coiner has wanted to be a police officer. Uh, when I was 14, I joined an explorer post uh, for the Richardson Police Department. It's always had the passion and something in me to help people, to serve. You know, I truly believe that when people call 911, they're calling for hope, and I'd like to be that hope. An officer in the colony, he just never really understood where his passion for the job came from. A lot of people in my family thought that too, is why do you want to go down this path? Family history, for, as far as I went back, is farming, ranching, and then computer engineers and science and engineers, so no law enforcement that I knew of at all. That's what he thought until two weeks ago when he got a call that the Dallas Police Department was looking for him. At first they thought it was a scam. The department, he learned, was seeking out descendants of William Rydell, one of the first Dallas officers to lose their life in the line of duty way back in 1892. From their research found out that he was my great, 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 great grandfather. So it was pretty wild. <laughs> Any family resemblance? I don't know, you tell me, I'm not good at it. I think so, you're right around the eyes. Next month, the city of Dallas will begin honoring its fallen first responders with street signs bearing their names. Rydell will be the first Dallas police officer to get one and it'll go up right here in Deep Ellum, along the very same street where he died. According to newspapers at the time, Rydell was attempting to arrest a local shoemaker for carrying a pistol. Instead of surrendering, he opened fire and killed Officer Rydell. I mean, there are pages and pages of these. Coiner has been poring over the old articles. A, a cowboy on a horse took a lasso and roped the shooter by the neck and was about to hang him because the crowd was yelling lynch him and another police officer quickly grabbed a knife and cut the rope to prevent that. Learning about his ancestor has brought this officer new perspective on a job he's now held for nearly two decades. Now it makes sense of why I do what I do. I like to think that he was there with me um, and in and, and guiding, uh, guiding me through some situations that I may not have made it out of myself. An Honor Guard member, Coiners pay tribute to many officers killed in action. I've had to carry a coffin myself for an in a line of duty death that we had here uh, in the colony. It always hits hard. And he will pay tribute again next month when his ancestor's street sign is finally unveiled. There will definitely be tears. Um, I'm a, I'm still, I'm a pretty emotional guy. <laughs> so I think it's wonderful to just remember, you know, who walked the streets, who patrolled the streets, who was out there protecting and serving, uh, even when the, the streets were made of dirt, you know, and mud. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas. City leaders hope to eventually have street signs up honoring all 95 Dallas police officers and 78 Dallas firefighters killed in the line of duty. The first firefighter honor, honored is going to be John Darbin. He was killed in 1925 at the scene of a fire when a car crashed into a fire truck, pinning him between them. This summer, the city released this image of what the tributes are going to look like. They are going to sit atop existing signs at intersections. The idea was first proposed by Sergeant Stephen Shivers after he saw similar signs in Boston honoring officers there and marking locations where they died. Not only for the families and for the officers to just remember their friends and their co-workers that passed, but for the citizens that are living in that area, I think it's important for them to know that we show up and when we get there, I just don't know what might happen. A ceremony is being planned for next month when both Rydell and Dardeman signs go up.